welcome to all my mommy friends. In this video, I'm talking to you about a lot more than what? Confused? Well, I'm talking to you about critical thinking as a life skill. That is indeed a lot more than what? Critical thinking only occurs when a child can draw upon existing experiences knowledge and problem solving skills to make sound decisions. It is a skill that does not fully develop until a child reaches adolescence, but the foundation can be laid in early childhood. Do you often keep your child busy with an electronic device or a book while he or she waits at a restaurant? Does your child do fewer than two chores per day? Do you rush to rescue your child if he or she is reaching for something over a top shelf? Do you gift your child very often if your child is not fussy or is obeying you? Well, if you answered yes to any of these questions, you may be enabling what psychologists call instant gratification and you may also be falling into a parent trap. Let's find out what that is. Parents want to do everything in their power for their children and that translates into feeling pushed to meet their needs quickly. In doing so, they enable a pattern of instant gratification. Darlene Sweetland, a Swiss psychologist, coined the concept of a parent trap. It is a situation in which parents are drawn to solve problems for their children or rescue them in a way that ultimately stifles growth opportunities. Rescue trap is where parents rescue their kids from their problems. The hurried trap is where parents meet their children's needs quickly, not requiring them to be patient and wait. The pressure trap is where parents push their children forward too fast. The giving trap is where parents give children something without them earning it. The guilt trap is where parents react impulsively because they feel guilty or are unsure. Critical thinking allows a child to compare, contrast and problem solve. It makes the child aware that there is more than one way of approaching a problem. It is open-ended and it allows deeper inquiry or investigation into a situation. For a young child, it may mean asking the right questions. For an adolescent, it may mean making the right career choice. For a teenager, it may mean making meaningful relationships with their peers and others. So what am I telling you? Does critical thinking change with age? Yes, it does. It is developmental and it develops in phases. Let's find out how. The sensory motor stage lasts from birth to two years. Prominent developments in this stage are object permanence, which means something that cannot be seen exists. For example, a child may begin to understand that a parent who is not in the same room has gone away temporarily. Cause and effect, a child crawls to a toy and learns that he or she can make things happen around the environment. A parent can support a child in this stage by permitting exploration through touch, smell and taste keeping safety in mind. The pre-operational stage lasts from 2 to 7 years. Prominent developments in this stage are language skills, communication skills, more advanced thoughts and feelings. Children in this stage are concrete thinkers but are unable to see another's perspective clearly and may not utilize abstract thinking. A parent can support a child in this stage by creating opportunities to improve his or her language skills through enhanced vocabulary and an organized environment. The parent must consider the child's limitation on advanced problem-solving skills and exercise expectations accordingly. The concrete operation stage lasts from 7 to 11 years. Prominent developments are that the children begin to understand others' perspectives and think more logically and rationally. Problem-solving abilities improve and the need for independence develops. A parent can support a child in this stage by encouraging independence and allowing the child to make decisions using advanced thinking capabilities. 
the parent could talk to the child and ask more questions that require the child to think. One needs to be less critical and more supportive. The formal stage starts from 11 years and develops as the child grows. Prominent developments here are increasing logical reasoning, math skills and abstract thinking. Advanced problem-solving skills such as planning, prioritization, considering outcomes of their actions and ability to predict ahead of time develop. A parent could support a child in this stage by being a good listener and being non-judgmental. Teach your child to wait. If a child is always the primary focus and his or her needs are constantly met, could you blame the child for not being able to wait? Probably not. Teaching children to wait is key to delayed gratification. Ask open-ended questions. Open-ended questions are those that prompt the child to think and often do not have one correct answer. Questions that begin with why, how, what and who leave room for creative thinking. Encourage play-based learning for your little ones. The benefits of play have been recognized by science. When children are engaged in purposeful play, they think, compare, communicate, discover and create. Allow room for independence. When your child brings you a problem, your child is likely feeling anxious about it. Instead of fixing the anxiety, if you provide gentle guidance and allow your child to consider possible solutions, he or she may learn something new. Avoid rescuing your children from life and academics. Children have several natural opportunities throughout their day to develop confidence in trying to do new things. Allow them to struggle while being there for them. Washing hands, self-feeding, dressing oneself, wearing shoes and socks, social skills such as making eye contact, sharing and maintaining a two-way conversation, problem-solving skills such as puzzles, pretend play, exploration, are all examples. Provide verbal guidance while dressing oneself or washing hands, etc. Arrange play dates for young tots. Older children can set up their own play dates and you need to then provide the necessary support. Avoid completing your child's homework or projects. Read to your child. Add a little conversation to every book you read with your child. Talk about how the story in a book connects to his or her real life experience. It is important for your child to know what is happening in the story, but it is crucial for him or her to understand why it is happening. Acting out a story often helps the child understand the viewpoints of the characters and what motivates them. Problem solving while reading is a good way to build analytical skills. Asking, what do you suppose is happening here, is a think aloud comment that urges the child to understand the problem before finding a possible solution. Children who are prompted to predict what may happen in a story next develop the habit of finding meaning in the text, which is the essence of reading. Encourage children to find patterns in the environment. Identifying similarities and differences in objects encourages critical thinking in young children. Help children evaluate information. Too much information can dissolve the key message. When children learn to distill the important information from a whole bunch of stuff, they learn to contrast and compare data. At times, simply narrating what information there is provides clarity to a child. Be open to discussion if required. Engage older kids in debates on social and global issues. General knowledge and being aware of what is going on around them enables children to keep up with the changing times. Last but not the least, model critical thinking skills yourself. Thinking aloud in your own life in front of your child helps them see how you do it. In today's world where information is literally at our fingertips, it is easy for a child to become a lazy thinker. In order to raise confident, thoughtful and independent thinkers, Critical thinking is imperative. If you feel empowered through this video, please like and share this video with your family and friends. Do let me know in the comment section if you would like me to present something that interests you. 
I have attached a link to my blog in the description box below for you to know more about critical thinking. Please subscribe to my channel and I shall see you next week. Thank you so much for watching.